In the hamburger menu, select Load Factory Preset, navigate to Preset Templates and then click Footsteps Template 01. This preset is designed to contain four surfaces within the XY pad. There is also a macro dial to control pitch and pan, plus additional trigger buttons for scuffs and stops. For footsteps, we're going to use the sampler core engine. With this engine type, one-shot samples can be triggered using random order or sequentially using round robin. We will populate the steps tab using our footstep sounds and we will use one surface per sampler. Note trigger is enabled, meaning that when we click inside the XY pad, it will trigger our sounds. Let's load up the first engine with the sound of footsteps crunching on glass. We will then add some wooden floor footsteps into engine two. This is all done through drag and drop. We will add some concrete footsteps into engine three. And finally, we'll add some footsteps on a dirt surface into engine four. You can add as many sounds as you like to any of the engines and the more sounds you add, the more variations you will hear in your sound effect. Now we can interact with the XY pad and hear our sound effects playing back. You can rename any of the corners of the XY pad by right clicking on its name and typing into the box that appears. Let's rename the corners so they correspond with the sound effects in each of the engines. With samples in all four engines, we can now click around the XY pad and blend these surfaces together. The closer you click to a corner, the more of that surface you will hear. All of the areas in between will blend these layers. To see which samples are loaded into a core engine, click the drop down menu above the waveform. You can mute and solo samples, and you can also add and remove samples from this menu. When you mute samples in this menu, they will be ignored and skipped over when you interact with the XY pad. There are macro dials next to the XY pad which provide additional controls. They enable you to pitch the samples up and down and you can pan them left and right. Let's now load the engines in the second tab with some scuff sounds and trigger them using the trigger buttons. We will use the same four surfaces that we used for our step sounds. In this template, the scuff tab is already mapped to the trigger button, so all you need to do is drag your sounds in. Let's put our preset into action by adding sounds to some clips of footsteps on different surfaces. We'll play the footage back, then trigger the footsteps in Crotos Studio in real time. I've replaced the glass and wood surfaces with some mud and leaf sounds to better suit the footage. As well as clicking in synchronization with your footage, you can also trigger the footsteps using MIDI. I've dragged the footage onto an audio track and I will create a MIDI clip on the Crotos Studio track. You can assign a MIDI note using the drop down menu in the sampler. Now, clicking inside the MIDI note is the same as clicking inside the XY pad. This means we can draw in or play in MIDI notes for pinpoint accuracy when synchronizing footsteps to our footage. Once you're happy with your preset, you can save it by clicking the burger menu and clicking Save Preset As. Here you can name the preset and save it to your library for later use.